Let's put your hands together for Laundry Basket and Spiegelman. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the comedy duo of Laundry Basket and Spiegelman. He's Laundry Basket. Laundry Basket, you're supposed to say, and he's Spiegelman. I know he's not Spiegelman, he's an audience member. Laundry basket. It's been true. We've been we well we we've been performing for for years. <laughs> Some people say that we like to complete laundry basket. <laughs> the time we went on I nine. <laughs> oh, laundry basket. You are a bad boy. Well, I heard you got a ticket. It's a ticket, Laundry Basket. I heard you got a ticket for going the wrong way down a one-way street. Laundry Basket, didn't you see the arrows? Laundry Basket! I have to apologize for that last joke was very offensive to any Native Americans that were here. And I, I sincerely apologize. I should have had some trigger warnings beforehand. And you know what? That's an old joke. That's a corny joke. That's a joke straight out of hee haw. Well, I give up, Laundry Basket. What do you get when you cross a giraffe with a cow? Laundry Basket. Speaking of animals, you have to milk standing up. How is your wife, Mrs. Basket? Really? Laundry basket, you had to take her to a psychiatrist? She thinks he's a chicken? How long has this been going on? Three months? She thought she was a hen for three months? Why did it take you so long to go to a therapist? Laundry basket. Look, as a Jewish American myself, I have to apologize for that last punchline. I think that's beyond the pale. Yeah, speaking of Jews. Speaking of Jews, all right, speaking of Jews. All right, I give up. What if a Jew, a Christian, a Scientologist were in a plane crash? I give up. Who survives? Laundry basket. Listen, I have to apologize to any Jews or Christians for that last joke. Well, you know, I actually have a joke. Well, I have a joke, sir. Uh, uh, an American, a uh, Polish man, and an Irishman were all riding the Amtrak when suddenly the porter came, and since they were doing it illegally, they ran into the mailroom and they saw three sacks, one labeled cats, one labeled dog, and one labeled potatoes. So the American runs into the bag that says cats, and the uh, Polish per uh, I'm telling a joke. <laughs> yeah, I... I know I'm the straight man, but I mean, we've been doing this act for... We're, we're called Laundry Basket and Spiegelman, not Spiegelman and Laundry Basket, you're right. People wonder why we didn't make that America's Got Talent comp. All right, I'll, I'll stick to the act. It's just a pain in the ass to go all the way over to the audience. They were some very foxy ladies in now fits. I do agree. But we're, look, nobody wants to hear knock, knock. I don't like doing knock, knock jokes with you. You don't know how to, all right, who's there? <laughs> Banana who? No, finish, don't, don't start a new joke. Just tell me the, Banana who? Wait, you already, forget it. All right, we'll do one more knock, knock joke, but you better not piss me off. Laundry basket. Who's there? Interrupting cat. Laundry basket! Well, yeah, I've been, uh, I am from San Francisco. I'm a native. Been here 20 years. That makes me a native. Well, yeah, no, this is a great dry cleaning neighborhood. There's a lot of laundromats in San Francisco. Why? There's Who's Laundromat on First Avenue. What's Laundromat on 2nd Avenue and Mendelbaum's on 3rd? I said, who's on 1st? What's on 2nd? Mendelbaum's on 3rd. Well, yes, I should know. I do live here. Who? 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 
Who is on first? That's right, every dollar of it. Really? Twice in the chest? No, I, I didn't know Mary Lou Henner and Tony Danza dated a set of chairs, a taxi. Of course I've heard of the Getty Museum. Mendel bombs. That's our famous uh, routine. Well, that's it for the night, folks. I hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah, who is it? It's Maurice. Can I talk to you, Phil? That's Maurice Gosfield. You know the fellow who plays Dolman in the show? He's got nothing to talk to me about. But the tip is out that I just got a cop in Camels. Watch this. Watch how he tries to wheedle a pack out of me. Come on in, Maurice. Hiya, Phil. Hello, Maurice. Hey, Phil. What time is rehearsal tomorrow? What time? Same time as it's been all year. Oh, really? Oh, oh, look, look, the cop in Camels. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Can't blame him, though. He wants his pleasure. So do I. Mm. Won't you join us? <laughs>